Hi, not enthusiast. I would like to invite you to join us and be a member of Ideology Community. If you become a member, you will help Ideology YouTube channel to make more math videos and to ease logistics expenses. See you all in Ideology Community. And get this beautiful ideology fun badge and be a member according to your interest as a bronze member, a silver member, or a gold member. We love to see you in ideology community. Hi everyone, today we're going to study application of quadratic functions. Specifically, the topic is finding maximum height of an object going upward. Let us have this example. The quadratic function h of t equals negative 16 t square plus 176t plus 4 models the height of a volleyball hit straight upwards with velocity 176 feet per second from a height of 4 feet. Letter A. How many seconds will it take? the volleyball to reach its maximum height. Letter B, find the maximum height of the volleyball. Take note, our height denoted by H and the measurement is in feet, while time denoted by T is measured in seconds. Let us first copy our function and it is now written here. And then let us collect the a, b, c. It means our a is the coefficient of the t square which is negative 16. The b is the coefficient of t and that is 176. c is the constant which is 4. So we have here a quadratic function with the value of a as negative 16. So we have here a parabola that opens downward. It means to say we have a maximum value. Here is a figure of a parabola that opens downward and the highest point is what we call the vertex and the k value is the maximum and this line here is the axis of symmetry. Now let us solve for a and that is finding the time t. In here we are going to use the equation of the axis of symmetry and the formula is t equals negative of the fraction b over 2a. Substituting the values, we have the negative of b, which is 176, all over the constant 2 multiplied by a. And our a is negative 16. Let us simplify our denominator 
2 times negative 16 will give negative 32. This negative sign here and the negative of 32 will give positive. And the quotient 176 over 32 will give 5.5. .5. And this is the time in seconds. Let us copy this value opposite problem A. So this is the answer for the problem A. Now, let us solve for problem B. In here, what we will do is to evaluate our function using the value of t that we solve from A. So this is h of 5.5. Let us now evaluate our function and every time we have t variable, we will change by 5.5. .5. So we have now negative 16 times the square of 5.5 .5 plus 176 t and the t is now changed into 5.5. .5. Then we copy this plus 4. Simplifying further, the square of 5.5, .5, we will simplify that into 30.25. And then plus, we get the product of 176 and 5.5, .5, and that is equal to 968. We simply copy the constant plus 4. Of course, in the first term here, the negative 16, is copied down here. In the next line, we will get the product of negative 16 and 30.25 and the answer is negative 484. So we copy the plus 968 plus 4. Simplifying these three numbers, we have now 488. And this is the height given in feet. Let us copy this opposite problem B. And this is our answer. Take note, the vertex of the quadratic function is 5.5, comma, 488. This is our final answer. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time.